I was a huge racist, am I not allowed to like Neelix? Because he's a huge racist. But well, we're not allowed to like you if you're a huge racist. But you like my other qualities. <laughs> <laughs> like your... You're burying yourself, you don't need us for this one. <laughs> like your oddly pro-homosexuality stance to spite your racism. I know, I... Alright, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Speaking of on the back and video games, I play through Sleeping Dogs. Yeah, me too. Have you um, beaten it though? Yes. Did you? I have not beaten it yet. Most yeah. of the unlockable outfits are go this way. Bruce Lee clothes. Uh, not necessarily Bruce Lee, but they're all kung fu movies. Yeah. yeah. But they're called something else. Oh, have you played the DLC thing? Uh, yes. The tournament on the island. I was so disappointed by that. I wasn't because I didn't know it was a DLC thing, and I was expecting the generic tournament. But if I thought this is the DLC, yeah. I, I would be disappointed with it. Yeah. Um, it just, I mean, it just came with so the game. So there's things so. like um, back gone is an outfit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's oh, what's this like temp? What? I was, nice! trying to, I was trying to hit this enemy like right in front of me, not that you, guy way over there. Do you know what that needed? That needed the noise from the six million dollar man. <laughs> Like well, like, no, 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 no. you know what you need to do now. Yes, I do. There it was. <laughs> Just pick something that's not. Da, 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 da. Oh come on! Oh, I love that though. I, I like. I, that. I, I said pick something that's not the six million dollar man thing. Like. Yeah. Da, 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 da. No, the the one I ended up with a shifty eye. Look at these scrubs. The one I ended up using was Hong Pen Row. Which is just the guy from Kung Fu Hustle. Do you know what? Because bad? I love that movie, Simon. I just thought, why don't you put, like call back your sword? And I realized, oh, it's oh, not. like the Leviathan axe. Yeah, like, but then I realized this is a dad of boy. Trust my dad of boy. Yeah, we go. I feel weirdly like bipolar it. about that game because looking at it, there's legitimately, it's a good game. It's fantastic. It is a really good game. Well, it's not God of War. No, it's better. It's better than... It's well, not it Angry Man storms into room, kills everyone. I mean, it's still He does angry. do that sometimes. It's He well, still has like, Spartan rage. There's also prolonged periods of let me tell you a story. Yeah, Mimir's the best. Oh, Mimir's great. Well, no, Kratos does it! Yeah, but he does it badly, which is kind of funny. We need to discuss my I, theory once you complete it. I we didn't... I didn't I know... It, you completed <laughs> yeah. it. We will talk in a moment, then. I didn't know that the scorpion and the frog was an actual story. I thought it yeah, was something no, Simon had made up. That's a fable. No, that's a... I heard yeah. that in a, in a lesson. Yeah, and it is you like lesson. Voyager! Ha! Do you, do you not remember the episode The Scorpion? No! When, well, when, it was a they, giant frog! No, no, no it's, it's the episode where they get seven of nine. No. And they're working together with the Borg, and Chakotay spends the whole thing saying to Jane, have you never heard the story of the scorpion and the frog? No, you can't this, help the Borg. They're gonna assimilate. This has you. gone from my mind. And then no. Janeway, at the end of the episode, she's like, "Have you ever heard about the Scorpion and the Frog? <laughs> I'm going to assimilate you." And then she turns Seven into a human against her will. And then Seven's got to spend the rest of the show dealing with it. Isn't this now like the trolley problem? What? Because it, it as the Borg. Seven of Nine wasn't necessarily like sunshine and roses. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not saying that turning her out <laughs> of the Borg was a bad thing. The Borg are horrible and evil. But it, 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 the thing remains is that you spend the whole thing thinking, oh no, the Borg are going to turn on him, and it's Janeway that breaks the deal and does to the Borg what they want done. Is the point I'm making. Which was, you know, the right thing to do because the Borg are evil. If only don't, Jane don't Wade remembered. Me. I, I'm, I'm not. I don't know anyone who would be a Borg apologist. They yeah, they're alright. No, because their whole point is the about the stunt flying yet. Villains. I want to yeah. talk to him about telling the truth. I love that speech so much. Can I just one? say the main reason that I have a fondness for the Borg because they have ships that are giant cubes. It is optimal. It is not! It really is. It really isn't. Isn't that why they then developed spheres? That's even worse. That's even worse! Because <laughs> the problem in space is that you get no radiation. So it's like they talk about this in Mass Effect in the codexes of yeah. if you have a big ship, you can't you can't Sorry. lose heat. Everyone will overheat and die if your engines block up. So you need to have something to dissipate the heat. And then if your ship is a giant cube, you have nothing to let you do that, because 
<laughs> it, you, you can't efficiently get rid of the heat. I'm on the right side of an argument for I'm, one, so I'm, I'm just gonna pretend gonna I know what you're talking about. I'm gonna throw this right. out here and say that... If you have your own reasons why cubes are a stupid shape, go ahead. That was mainly aerodynamics, the idea of leaving the planet that, as a giant cube Oh no, that, that, that built in space though. Yeah, yeah, in fairness, uh, yeah. space, aerodynamics can go to hell. In which case, why are all of Starfleet ships so streamlined? Well, because they do have to launch. Wait, do they? No, because they are... No, they're only, space. only Voyager lands on our planet, I think. Well, no, because I remember this, um, it's parodied in Galaxy Quest, the start of one of the Star Trek movies, has the vintage 2001 bottle of wine thrown into space yeah. against the hull of the Enterprise. Yeah, because mo yeah, they mostly launched from, from the dry dock in orbit around Mars. What was I talking about? Can they, can yeah, they... has Peter, who is watching The Next Generation, has he got to the stunt flying episode? Not yet. Because I, I want... Because I think that's late season five? The speech about telling the truth. Yeah. Oh my god. Basically, Picard has great speeches, and he wanted to be an action star, but they're like, no. Speeches. I mean... And every so often he got his way, and then you get Captain's <laughs> Holiday, or Gambit, or Enemy Mine. To be, to be fair, the speeches are really good. They are. He's, yeah, he, he was not suited to be an action star, but then, you know... What? I don't know, he's, I like it when he's badass. Have, okay, tying these two together... I mean, he's not, he's not yeah. as strong as suits, but I like it when he's... Have you seen um, any of the the Star Trek cast reacting to Galaxy Quest? No. No. Shatner hates it. Of course he does. He's looking at it thinking, I don't recognise any of these characters. Is he meant to be me? I'm not seeing it. That's because it's next generation. But at this, right, yeah. apparently what happened was um, Riker went to see it and texted Picard, you have to watch this movie. It's brilliant. And Patrick Stewart, has, one of his interviews is like, no one is laughing harder than I am. I'm in the middle of the cinema just dying with laughter because everything is sublime and spot on. So on I was point. worried it would be a spinal tap kind of thing where everyone's watching it going... Yeah, no, this is too real. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> this isn't funny, this is just reality. This is depressing. Um, <laughs> have you ever, have you watched, uh, I, I, I've talked about it too often, Matt. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to make an attempt at it. Agi Rasuto? Agi Rasuto? No. The no, new Sanya character, the Hello Kitty people. No. It's too oh, real. Oh, the, the, um, the, the angry... Yeah. Is it what is it? It's a red panda? Yeah, it's a red panda. Yeah, and uh, she but, it's a red panda who and she, she has works an in an office see. and she's like, ah, working in an office though. But I can't show that I'm angry because it's work and I have to be professional. Ah, oh, fair enough. But no. as soon as I get off work I'm going to a karaoke bar and screaming heavy metal. I've but some things in it are too real. I've yeah. seen Paranoia Agent, does that count? I, I love that is. series. The theme tune stuck in my head forever. I love it. Is that a similar thing? Or? It's really good. Not at all. Paranoia Asian is like psychological kind of horror. I mean, I'm, I've seen it, the boy walking around a bat. That's all yeah. I've seen. So it's, you know, it's by the same guy that did Paprika and Paranoia oh, and, cool. and Perfect Blue. Oh, I like Perfect Blue. Yeah, I've got a UNB <clears throat> version of that somewhere that Peter it's... lent me like 10 years ago. Because you're going to sit around a PSP and watch... Damn right I am. <laughs> and you're going to be like, oh, I'd be appreciating the cinematography. I <laughs> if I could it. see it, yeah. I appreciate the... cinematography. The, oh, I didn't have a copy of Ghost in the Shell in on DVD or Blu-ray, but I have it on UMD. Like, of mm. everything, I appreciated that Gen's daughter was in it. I own the Punisher. That was just the UMD. weirdest cameo, oh, but I'm yeah. down for that. Oh, from the Thomas yeah, from, Jane uh, one. From Tokyo Godfather. Yeah, so it's, so it's it. the best one. She's like it's the not, only sorry, nurse in the hospital, it's but it's Gen's fine. daughter it's because right, yeah. she's that. Okay, Decent. what that it does. Really good Punisher film. What it does that I like. Isn't how? I like. Insane. Oh, I don't know. I'll let this conversation sorry. finish because it's sorry. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> like a, so, Paranoia yeah. Agent has one of my favorite like madness slash insanity tropes mm -hmm. yeah. where there is a character who appears to have too much information in their head and they can't get it all out oh the the uh the, the guy urban, the urban legend episode no the um there's that as well but the the the, the old man with the chalk oh him oh, is he yeah. the guy that jumps out of a window and explodes no that's uh that's paprika okay but there is an urban legend episode where a boy is trying to study and literally the facts fall out of his yeah. head so this is a Dark Souls moment right here. Because we have looped back 
to a uh, shortcut. Yeah, they did it before Dark Souls. Don't forget the boss to fight. Because we saw that door. Shut up! <laughs> How dare you? We saw that door before and like, oh, can't get in there. So we just came from there. Yeah. Back to, back to um, an Orlando. Simon. Yeah. Paranoia agent. Yeah. Is there anything to it that everyone's named after animals, or is that just a cute thing they did? What is my it's, objective? It's like personality theming. So, uh, it's like you got Tsukiko, and she's named after the moon, and she's, yeah, okay. to make an English pun, kind of loony. Um, ah. But, Slow like, the time! So, I'm going to. Give me a second. He <laughs> has cultural associations in Literally Japanese. Literally just got there. You're an idiot, well, no, so she's... I expected you to try it. Her name is Sagi, which is a kind of bird. That's a crane, yeah. There is Ushi is a cow. <laughs> yeah, and he's big and fat. Um... Maniwa, on the mask. I forget it. Well, there's a character straight up called Zebra, which yep, whatever. But that, that's the, his online pseudonym. The woman, what? Well, he's only ever called Zebra, isn't like he? Like Neo. Yeah, but that's his. Yeah, yeah. They, they call each other their online pseudonym. Yeah, that was a cute episode, which didn't end how I expected it to. Yeah, that's a weird one. Also, there's a thing the, for that where apparently, if you understand what's being written on screen, one of the other characters. Um, hang on. <laughs> Did I mute that or bleep it? Who knows? If the viewer's still so, alive, you so mute it. So people will just assume I swore incredibly loudly rather than sneeze. Just calm down. <laughs> just calm right That's down. That's the loudest profanity I've ever heard. <laughs> Hold up. Not only have we done this room before, we have done this fight here before. We have before, done this fight. Because you got swatted off. It was hilarious. Yeah, this was the hero he right had, here. He had, a, he had a bit of the chab walk there, did that? Oh. He's coming forward like he's got a sheep under you his chab. You want me. Anyway. Like he's got a sheep under his Yeah, that's like, because they, they walk like this. Like, like, like they carry <laughs> Carrying sandbags. Yeah, sure. I, I, yeah. Jog squats. <laughs> Jog squats. <laughs> Remember job squats? Job squats? Oh, I Jog love squats. that film. Yeah. Oh, it's... Me too. It's good. <laughs> the Dingy Rapids. The only other one the I noticed rapids, is the, the woman who had multiple... You about to say, tell me about the rapids? I was. Cause <laughs> the, no, I was going to say, tell me about the rubber dingy rapids. <laughs> Basically what he said. The, the woman who had multiple personalities was named after butterflies. Yeah. Because of metamorphosis! Yeah. Connor is on the floor at this juncture. So they do that a fair bit. But no, yeah, um, so one of the other people who doesn't turn up to the meetup but talks about he's gonna do something crazy, that's the guy who was the fake little slogger. The one who's arrested. Yeah. Yeah. And then real little slogger shows up in the chat and starts saying really creepy stuff. See, the. I kind of. Oh, why did I do that? Given the nature of what it is, I understand that they're not gonna explain everything. Yeah. And I get that. But there are still some things that I would have liked to have had answered. Mm -hmm. Like, how comes it there is a kid who is just literally just this fake kid running around? Well, because he knew about the rumors and decided he was going to go do that. Well, no, but like, they both look exactly the same. Or is this an or do they moment? Probably. But as I say, it's, it's a common thing of Satoshi Kon's films that reality is kind of malleable. Supernatural's real. Hmm. Well, I mean, thus you know, far... There's actual ghosts that exist in that, so... Thus far, the only other one that I have seen is Tokyo Godfathers. Yeah. Which, my review was, like, it, it relies really heavily on Deus Ex Machina. And that's the but point. But that's the point. <laughs> like, yeah. literally, Hannah is like, this is from God. Movie they, start, let go. Yeah, they, they name, name it after, after Silent Night. The, the little Silent baby, night. which in Japanese is like heavenly child or something. Yeah. So that's what they call her. But no, like the, in heavenly peace. The the majority of the movie is Deus Ex Machina. Unbelievable so it, coincidence. So it gets away with it. Um, that's smart. Also, I'm fairly sure wrong, wrong, that wrong, one wrong, of wrong. the sets from Tokyo <laughs> Godfather shows up in the Just intro. Keep rolling. <laughs> yeah, I think so. The paranoia agent. Yeah. The the old woman is at the wedding. Yeah. Which I'm sure is just an animation saving technique. <laughs> probably, probably. I was just gonna say study all your grooves again, and then oh, I immediately study all your grooves. Because this is the study all your grooves room. Oh, I missed this. I didn't miss this room, but I missed Kano. There's a cool room. What was room? My favorite. I don't suppose you've seen it because it was in one of the Harry Potter playthroughs. It looks real good. No. Also, uh, we find out there's this lake of lava running under Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, of so, so I, I advise Peter that he should be really careful, because because there's this volcano and it studied all your moves. <laughs> that that, that is the loudest and longest I have screamed with laughter on a microphone. That's where I started realizing I should turn away if I'm doing this because that <laughs> came out of nowhere and it gets me at the best of times. Don't Jess declares Gastrodon oh, to be an underrated Pokemon. Look at these one-hit kills, Underratedly by the way. cute. Not Lapras, you mean. Underrated. Look at these one-hit kills of these jobbers now. I assume now. it has a large stomach or is a slug. Imagine, oh, the little slug one. Imagine Lapras, except it's green. Oh, yeah, I like that little guy. Lapras like the water one. He's also yeah. pink sometimes. The one water one. I'm joking, obviously. Yeah. It's like a billion. The throne and the mouse. Alright, we're going back to the throne room. Remember when Ghost Pokemon was like three? The game. The throne Do you remember when Psychic is Pokemon an had a type silent. advantage against hey, everything? It just doesn't know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> You're right to laugh. But um, remember that one no. ten minute period where God of War was God of Everything? God of War, you say? Because it had. That's what I think every oh. time I see someone write God of War. Oh my god. It had type advantage. It had like psychic, grass, and fairy. Type. That is OP. Fairy? Yeah. Wait. Oh, there's a new type fairy that came out. Like, That's not new though, is it? Turns out. Um, well, it came out a couple of games. As of X and Y? X and Y. The, the latest one as of time of recording. No, it's not. That's not new. <clears> Sun and moon. moon. True. Forget that. I don't think it's this. I Blue and red. Game, but I sure. completely forget that I played through Pokemon Hawaii. I think Sun and Moon is a mainline. The hell is Pokemon Hawaii? Um, Sun, and Sun and Moon. You oh. are just in Hawaii. It's in Hawaii. Oh. They don't even try to hide it. Volcanoes. There's even a tan Pikachu. Too soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure oh, there's yeah. a glorious Surfer Dog Trio. There's some cool volcano stuff. Oh going yeah, on there, there right is. Now. Do you mean He Man Dog Trio? That too. Back to the throne room. Um. Cutscene. No, what I think happened with that one, the suicide-based episode of Paranoia Agent, I think they did succeed at some point, uh -huh. and that's what the ending shot is, because they photobomb those girls who then scream. Yeah. So presumably they've seen a g g g ghost. Oh. Yeah, but well, no, they were they've been dead the whole time. I thought was the thing, because uh, hmm. I think at no point in the episode do they have shadows. Huh. That's interesting. You see, I it, it went completely the opposite direction I thought it was going in. Yeah. I thought it was going to go, the real friendship is what we did along the way. I yeah. don't want to do this anymore. Because we looked after well, this they, little they kid. They kind of do come to that. They just kind of forget to keep trying. And oh, oh, fun yo. photo bomb stuff. Uh, Alex puts out a great idea of having Whale Lord as the character following you around in Pokemon. You can uh, do that. I know, but in Let's Go Whale Lord, where it's an actual 3D model. <laughs> I can't see that. There yeah. is, or was, at some point, a, a thing on Tumblr where people would... Was it the remake of Gold and Silver? I don't know. One of them, you could have any Pokemon following you. Yeah. And people would have the legendaries. Yeah. So it would say things. literal god behind me. So it would say things like, oh, Dialga is poking you gently. Oh. And then they would animate that just getting smashed into the floor because Dialga's the size of a house. Uh, the one I saw was uh, someone walking. Uh, like, <laughs> I'll be given a second chance. Again. The <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit prince. Like, someone... He's just going to sit down and declare himself the Empress. No, oh, I'm the I Lord of Cinder! Jamie Lannister That's a over big here. Chair. Did we talk about this on video? Yes. yes. The, the we're I talking about the Iron Throne. The Iron yes. Throne. It's really big. Talked about how big it is in the books. Yeah. We did. And there's a big staircase to it. Yeah. And it'd be a big deal for Jamie to walk up big, it instead of just yeah. kind of big staircase. Okay. Cool. Nice. So the throne is a door. Well, it's not really a door. I'm going to smash it. Yeah. And there's a portal behind it, and then it. Oh, no, it just seals itself. So when we get the Mask of the Wraith, this game becomes like at least twice as difficult. Oh. Just for the right. You'll know what I mean when it happens. Okay. You'll know exactly what I mean. Cool. What if... What if oh. Kalina didn't die in the past, but in, in the, the present? present. Sounds very right. Yeah. Yeah. The Dahaka <laughs> will have no business with me. Business to hacker. If I fuck through <laughs> the timeline some business more, to you are late. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill her in the 
What a noble goal. I'm, I'm gonna kill her in the present. <laughs> I'm not but just... she's already dead in the past. No, but he's gonna use the mask to go back in time so he can kill her in the present. I'm just oh. gonna... So the sands have already been... No. Quick question. Uh, yeah, yeah. Has anybody played... I can't even finish what I was gonna say. There, has I anybody confused. played the reboot of this series to completion? The one where he's orange and blue? No, I, I, got, did I got stuck back on in the day, but I remembered none of it. Does I it anybody stuck. mind spoilers for the ending? No, go sure. for it. Okay. It, it so, was DLC. So, Is that what you're going to say? Kind of. Um, so what happens was, the princess was sacrificed to basically the Lord of Darkness. Yeah. And it was, it was like supposed to happen. Um, yeah. So what the prince does, is he makes a deal with the very same Lord of Darkness... To bring her back to life, which is how the game got oh, started. So. And then it's like, what? Why are you mad at me, though? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, but it's. And then, yeah, because that was garbage, they released another they put out 20 DLC. minutes of DLC. To that was that's very. Still uh, not released on PC. Give you a proper ending. <laughs> that was very controversial when they did that.